Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Here is a... I've got this kit. I got it a while back. Mark over at Hobby Nuts sent it over. It's the... Um, a... Hey, you say A-R-I-I. -I, Airy. 73 Dodge Charger. I saw it on his website. I'm like, man, I'd really like to have that one. That's cool looking. Then I got it, and I'm like, eh, it's a, it's like a toy, literally like a toy. It even has, used to have a place like where the batteries would go and stuff like that. But I thought, you know, I saw a guy the other day, this is an old video that I saw, but he had built one up and he did it as a curbside. And happy dog, it looked really good. Now the interior is really simplistic and things like that. I don't even know if I'll have, make the doors open because it has opening doors. I'll see. Um, but I just thought, you know, it'd be fun. Um, something different. Not everybody has a Airy, Airy, whatever it is, 73 Dodge Challenger. Did I say Charger earlier? I meant Challenger if I did. Um, and I thought, you know what the heck? Get, give it a shot. The wheels are kind of funky. Um, it's got like the tires are, I, I did mount a front and a rear. It has two oddball tires. Well, I'm spilling something behind me. Hold on a second. So it has oddball tires. Like the backs, well, except they don't even fit the rim. But the back tires are actually a pretty cool looking Michelin. And the fronts are a good year with total different tread and the sizes are different. I don't know what I'm going to do. But anyway, the guy that I saw, he lowered it a bit. The stance was a little too high, so he lowered it. Uh, I'll try. He had also different rims. It didn't come with these rims. He had more of the turbine style rims like the Dukes of Hazard car. Maybe it's an older one. But I thought, what the heck? Let's build it. And although I'm going against all my better judgment because I love to use MCW paint, I'm going to try to spray one with craft paint and clear coat. I just, I've been wanting to try it. I've done a little bit before. I've got a motorcycle that I painted with craft paint, but I never had 2K clear. And I recently got some 2K clear that I wanted to shoot over some craft paint. Um, but you can see this thing is like ultra slim, simplistic. You can see even the, where the gear would be on the back axle. The back axle housing is like missing part because there would have been a gear there. There's the battery cover. So more than likely it's going to have a a closed hood. I mean, look at the intake house. It's just the engine would not even look. It would not look. Um, it doesn't even have a picture of the engine, but it would not look real. I'm not even going to bother. Oh, I just noticed it does have a set of like stock type wheels, but I doubt I'll use them anyway. I will probably build the engine, stick it in there just to have it. Well, maybe I won't. If the hood's not going to open, what's the purpose in it? Here's the windows. But it's it's a little bigger too. So if you take this thing. Oh, it also has the, the vinyl top, which will look really cool black. But if you put this beside like a Dodge Challenger. This says 124 scale. I think it's more like bigger than that. Like skill's not totally accurate because it's just a bigger kit, but it's okay. The chassis, look at the chassis. But anyway, I'm going to build this thing and it's probably going to be a pretty quick build. The one that I saw, he had taped off black. Oh, it looked awesome. I don't know if I'll do that or not. But anyway, I will, uh, I'll build it up and see what it looks like. The one he did, like I say, it looked looks pretty darn good to, for, for, he said he was unhappy with it but from what i saw i would be totally happy with it um so I, actually probably the hardest part about this whole thing is just get the body cleaned up and painting it and uh probably ruin it with this craft paint i uh, tried to find a color that was kind of close i didn't have the box with me but I was looking through all the colors and usually when you shoot some clear on something, it brightens it up. So maybe, maybe this will be pretty close to, uh, 
to what it should look like but we're going to build it up and uh i talked with lucas c about this a long it's been a while ago he said that this kit used to come with the best bf goodrich tires and on the um, box art it's got bf goodrich tires and it's like they match i don't know why they do what they do now and send like two mismatched sets of tires that don't even fit the uh, don't even fit the rims but they did and i'll make it work anyway all right i'm gonna get some stuff um cleaned up glued together and i will be back in just a smidge stand by all right so i got some sanding done to this thing a few um clearance issues is what i've had to deal with the most like clearancing the hood i'm not going to have this is not going to have an engine the hood's going to be it's going to be a curbside um clearancing like the hood having to get the gaps right um, actually i just took them like the hood here by the way commercial um got these infinity i think it's how you say it i n f i n i infinity or infinity anyway these sanding pads and i just had 600 grit in the two, 220 and i would just take my hood and go back and forth back and forth and uh, also got these sticks here from from hobby nut too anyway got all kind of sanded sticks over hobby nut you go check them out um but i got the hood now it fits like got really good gaps because i'm gonna glue the hood in place so i don't want there to be no gap because i'm just gonna have paint sprayed over those those gaps and i don't want it just to fill up so i wanted the gaps to be a little oversized that way you know kind of giving you room there for primer and uh, paint and clear and the doors i am going i didn't want to but i think i am going to have them open or use the hinges um i clearanced them as well they they needed quite a bit of clearancing so i was able to get them uh clearance to where again once you get paint you're going to have enough clearance this and uh pre-fit in the grill and there's two spots here there's a spot here and a spot there you see the gray putty i've already sanded it off but uh there were two like divots from the mold um got those taken care of the trunk had a few little places on it got those sanded down so um and then the like <laughs> this is so simplistic but the chassis um got the seats just sitting in and i'll give them a paint job but there's not much to this once i get this thing painted and some shoot some paint on the chassis i mean really there's not a lot to it but like i say that the guy who did the one um yeah, i don't remember who it was his looks so sharp and i was like man i want to try it anyway so that's why i was jumping on this uh, and it's going to have the black uh vinyl top which is already the texture is already there so that's gonna be cool so i'll paint that black nice final top do a little bit of bare metal foil there's a nice uh really nice um molding there so it won't be hard to bare metal foil that and uh yeah it'll look cool still got some wacky issues with the with the rims and how they fit or or i guess don't fit especially the back ones look at that i don't know I just don't understand why they sent such weird whacked out tires but i guess if you don't pick it up and look under the bottom you'll never really notice that so that's kind of the goal here this is just a leave it alone let it sit there looks pretty good from the top all right so i'm going to get some primer shot on this body see what my body's looking like and get some primer shot on the ch the chassis the seats and things like that or actually just probably just shoot some paint on them and uh we'll be back and see what it's gonna look like and then get ready to shoot that uh craft paint there <laughs> this is probably gonna be a a nightmare i've got hobby uh mcw paint right over there in my pull out which is a no-brainer but I just, I've seen guys paint, paint with the craft paint. And I just want to try it. It's, I don't think it's going to be something that I'm going to, to stick with. Um, because that, like say, uh, MCW paint is a, is a, is a good product and it 
wow, you get such an amazing finish. But it, again, just an experiment. This in itself is a, an experiment, just building this, this car, but then I'll shoot this. It may end up in the trash. I don't know. We'll see. Stand by. All right, got the body primed, chassis painted, door panels, and the hinges are primed. They're going to be body color as well. Um, the gaps on the hood look good. I am building, putting the engine in it. Just It will be just the bottom section of the engine just so I can have the exhaust headers. You may be able to see them coming down, and I don't want it to be just an empty hole. So I will stick the engine in there, but it won't be, um, the top of the engine won't be built. It's, it's actually just be an open top. Um, there's no sense in doing it because the hood is not going to open. And again, it's because the, the detail, I mean, give me a break. Look at this. It's an intake. It looks like, I mean, literally, it is a toy. This was a toy. Okay. This was built to. Somehow it didn't come with the electric motor, but it was it was made to put the batteries in right there. The electric motor would have been back there. It's okay though. It's going to be awesome looking sitting on my shelf. I did take some of that panel line, my water base panel line, just black paint, black acrylic paint and water, and I went ahead and out or went in the uh, rear deck uh, grooves. So hopefully when I paint the yellow paint right there. It will still have a shadow in there uh, rather than doing it on top of everything uh, once the groove is full of paint and everything like that so i'm going to mix this paint now and uh i'm going to use a window i've i've only i have done this let's see walk over here for a second i have painted something with craft paint before this motorcycle let me turn the light on hold on a second So this motorcycle here, this uh, small one, that is craft paint. So I have painted something with craft paint before. And if I'm not mistaken, the 40 Ford sedan may have been craft paint. I don't remember, but I've not got much and then put shot some clear over it. But I've never had, um, I got me some 2K clear. So I've never used 2K clear. Um, so I'm going to shoot some over the top of this yellow paint. I was speaking with Lucas E and I might have mentioned this already, but he, he said that you could shoot 2K pretty much go over anything. So that's what we're going to do. So I'm going to get some paint mixed up with the uh, blue washer fluid here as the what I'm going to use to cut with. And we shall see. Stand by. All right, so I got me some paint mixed up, and I don't know how this is going to work, but rather than using the water, I used alcohol. <laughs> yes, yes, I used alcohol. Many of you are probably saying, you idiot. Well, I'm going to try it anyway, because I've never done this. I'm just, it cut, and it, I don't see any reason why I couldn't use it. Um... I'm going to test spray a little bit and see how this turns out before I just full blast onto the body. So I've got this little roof here that I like to kind of practice on. Heather practiced on it several times and I'll probably just shoot a little bit on that and see what happens. So uh, let me turn the camera off and shoot a little bit and I'll come right back. Okay, so... Uh, Scratch, scratch the whole craft paint thing. Sorry to mislead you, <clears throat> but maybe it's because I used alcohol, not water. But I, I mean, this this stuff looks terrible. And if you're screaming at your screen right now, saying, "Why did you do that?" I don't know why I did it. Um, to be honest with you, I don't know why I even wanted to try this. I guess the appeal to the craft paint. Is this like 79 cents a bottle and they've got like a million colors, but if you could, it is so bumpy looking. It did. And maybe that's because what the alcohol drives too fast. I don't know. It was a shot in the dark. 
you know I'm gonna go out there and wash the try to wash this off and decide what color I'm gonna paint this thing what color MCW paint that I'm gonna use so that's what I'm about to go do I'm about to go try to take the darn paint off of these two doors I put this is a this is one coat on this door and it looks horrible and this is like two or three coats and it looks horrible so all right let me get this stuff cleaned up i'm just glad i didn't shoot the whole darn body and have to do that how many yeah see this is bringing back really bad memories because when i first started back into modeling i was shooting i was doing spray cans some of you guys have it down to a science i wasn't any good i ruined so many paint jobs and this is not what I wanted to do. I didn't want to like spray it, get it all ready and have to like completely redo it, which I'm going to have to do the doors. That's okay. I'll just get out there and scrub the heck out of it. Maybe it's not cured all the way. Um, and I'm going to shoot some MCW name on this thing. That's all there is to it. All right, guys. Um, let me get out there and get these cleaned up and we'll go from there. All right. So I got the doors this is the next day got the doors back reprimed um did a light sanding on all the primed parts because i'm it's always good to do that um your primer can sometimes leave, be bumpy so i sanded it down with some 1500 grit just lightly sanded just to knock any uh bumps in the primer you know what i mean body looks great uh with the hood already on it um so instead of this stupid yellow paint, which I know, again, I'm probably the dummy that shouldn't use rub. I thought that I'd heard she could use rubbing alcohol to cut it. I'm just not going to use this stuff. It's good for like painting little parts and all. I've got a bunch of it up here uh, that I use, but I'm going to go back to the tried and true MCW. And I've got a piece of bo a bottle of Hugger Orange and a piece of bottle of Bright Red. And I'm about to mix these together to make some bright orange. And what I'm going to do, because this is a, a challenger, is I'm going to go ahead and try to make a... Um, I don't have any stickers, but you know, it's going to look like that. It's going to be an orange with the black top challenger. That's the Yankee challenger there. That's an old kit from like the early 80s or late 70s or something like that. Anyway, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to mix this paint. Some of you guys... Have asked how do I mix my paint? Well, I'll set the camera up and I'll I'll, I'll mix the paint and uh, we'll go from there. So uh, stand by. All right, <clears throat> excuse me. So I've got my paint. I've got about six milliliters of paint. I've got these bottles measured off at eight milliliters. Um, this is about six milliliters of paint. So I've got to have half of that in reducer. So that would be three milliliters of reducer. So let me grab another one of these. So I'll use these little, uh, these little, uh, whatever you call these things. So let me just do. All right, there's two. So we want half. We want 50 50. I mean, uh, two to one. Two parts paint, one part um, reducer. So there's two. I need one more. I want three milliliters of reducer. And primer. I mean, primer hardener I will get let's see um, I don't account for the when I do my mixture for my paint I don't account for the hardener the hardener is a thicker um, liquid so I usually just kind of guess if someone asked me to do this I'm like okay well I'll, I'll do it uh, okay there's like one and three quarters milliliter of hardener right there all right so when you mix this because it's got hardener in it 
you'd better use it pretty quick because it's going to harden. It's going to harden in your brush. It's going to harden in your uh, bottle. So um, one thing that I recommend, if you mix a paint color, do not mix it all at one time in your bottle because what will happen is you'll do like I've done before. You'll make a mistake and you'll be like, oh no, I'll never get that mixture back. And you'll have a you'll have a, a fix. So always have a, a backup amount of uh, paint that you can, if you're adding hardener to it, because it's, it's done after that. Let's give it a good shaking. These bottles, I got these off of Amazon. I don't know where else you can get them, but you know, they just have little ball bearings in them. It's just a little cheap plastic, but they're really, it's like 10 bucks for, or $15 for 10 of them. And uh, I guess you can reuse them, but might as well throw them away. They're hard to clean, but anyway. All right, I'm gonna get the camera set up and we will get some paint shot on this thing. So stand by. All right, well here is the paint job. Should have went with the good stuff to begin with. I tried and I failed. Maybe I didn't do it right, but I, I don't think I'm gonna use that stuff anymore. Just gonna go ahead and use what's what I know works. And uh, look at that shine. But yep, good old MCW paint. Well, this as uh all this has now so the roof has to be uh painted kind of a what a satin black something like that the bare metal foil has to be done and there's quite a bit of lettering like the challenger here it's really high the lettering is really raised so that's good the on the hood here the dodge is really really raised so that'd be be pretty easy to detail out uh, but other than that, I mean, there ain't nothing to this model. Got the door panels over here. Um, got the hinges painted. Got the the bottom of the engine. I painted it when I painted it uh, orange. But other than that, after I get the bare metal foil and the roof painted, I'll get the windows in, which are these really, really flimsy pieces of plastic but i hadn't even pre-fitted them to see what it looks like get the dashboard mounted and what however it mounts i don't even oh it mounts that dashboard mounts up inside under the hood there good looking body i will give it to them it's a good looking body the body's got a lot of good detail i do like that um just glued the hood shut perfect gaps as if it came from a restoration shop i wanted to make sure i had to sand on the hood um kept sanding and kept sanding to be able to get that that gap like i wanted it you didn't want i didn't want it all closed up i wanted it to look like it was an actually an opening hood not just a hood that's molded in and i think i got that um same with the doors had to work with them to be able to get them to uh, fit and have proper proper gaps that's, that's that's what it was all about i've not done a vehicle with opening doors in a long long time but i wanted them to look pretty decent i want them to look good anyway well guys i'm gonna cut this video part one and we come back part two be a black roof do some bare metal foil and just really button it up um detail work yeah just 
just get the details done the lights the chrome which is only you know the chrome is actually fits pretty decent i did have to trim a little bit on the bottom of the um front bumper but it does fit nicely into the uh what well did before i painted it at least anyway i can't do it one-handed but it's gonna look nice so like i said cut this part one come back part two will be just a, basically buttoning up the thing and a completed model kit you know depending on how this looks i might take this down to jacksonville i just love that orange i, I know i was starting with yellow but now that i've got the orange on there i'm like dang because you know like i said it reminded me of that yankee yankee challenger up there anyway all right guys thanks for watching if you hadn't subscribed already please go hit the subscription button i'd really appreciate that and don't forget to go to the facebook group join there if you have not joined don't forget to visit hobby nut models where this kit and this paint came from thank you to mark over at hobby nut go check out mark's inventory over there uh, the MCW paint line that he carries, the supplies that he has, the the sanding uh, pads that I use to sand that hood, all all the thing, all the things you need to build a quality kit are found there at Hobby Nut Models. Uh, those things will be linked in the description below, as well as my Teespring store. You guys, go over there and check that out. Grab you a T-shirt or a mug or a hoodie or something like that. It's getting cold outside um, today in Georgia. It was. Um, I think it's going to be down in the low forties, <laughs> low forties tonight. So get, get bundled up. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. And part two of the challenge 73 challenger will be in a hurry. And this thing is going to look sharp when we get it put together. So thanks guys for watching. And we will see you on round two. You guys take care. Bye.